All right, guys. So we are finishing up our last week in person um, or on Zoom in person. And we're going to continue working unilateral training. We're also going to throw some isometric um, dynamic stuff in today um, in a Tabata format, which is going to be really fun and challenging. And all you need is a set of dumbbells. So I have my 10-pound dumbbells. I'm going to try to go through that or use those the whole time. Um, there's a lot of body weight, a lot of dumbbells, just kind of back and forth. Start out with some warm-up stuff and then a little game, and then we'll be off. So kind of where we're heading, and it's going to go by fast. I just know it. What a lot. It'll be great. So go ahead and roll your shoulders back and around. Just kind of loosen up through your body. And then just start reaching an elbow across your body, adding some rotation here. I was sitting all day today, so I'm feeling super stiff. So I'm gonna just get you guys all loosened up. <clears throat> all right, moving on. I want you to reach down towards your ankles, bending your knees, standing up in between. We're taking a nice deep knee bend. It's a little different than windmills. I actually want you to sit your butt back and then stand nice and tall. Do one more on each side. And we're gonna hold it forward. So knees are bent here. And just swing your arms, swing your arms across your body. As you do this, I want you to pull your elbows up and back. Okay, knees are bent here. Your back is just moderately rounded. And one more in each direction. And then bring those hands behind your ears and we'll go right into a good morning. Getting some action in the hamstrings. Good, you got three more, two, one more time. We're gonna crouch all the way down into a nice small little ball. You gonna bounce here for a moment, get those ankles and calves just warmed up. And then big inhale at the top. Let's do it again. Crouch down into a small ball. And then big inhale at the top. Keep on going. And let's do one more just like that. And moving on, take it into a side skater, but slow. So I want you to reach like it's basically a curtsy lunge and then take it to the other side. So curtsy lunge, reach across your front leg and feel that nice rotation through the trunk. And let's do one more on each side. We're gonna speed this up just a little bit. You're gonna go in, right into toe tap side to side. So just glide side to side. This is warming up your skaters, which you'll see in a little bit. But first, just some lateral movement without jumping. And do two more in each direction. We're gonna take this into a squat reach with a heel lift. So squat down low, lift up onto your toes. And this will turn into some squat jumps in a little bit. But first things first, low intensity. Let's do two more. And last one right there, good job. Last thing we're gonna do is rotation side to side. Bring your elbow to your knee and engage your core. So we're gonna play a little game of corners and you'll have to use the honor system here as we go through this one. So I can't see you and I don't know where your corners are, but go ahead and jog in place for me real quick. So if you've ever played corners, it's just kind of a fun game. We'll go through an exercise at a given point, I will say corners, and you will mark off in your room or just decide in your space what's number one, two, three, and four. Okay, so go ahead and kind of visualize that right now. If I say number one, you either go to number one or you just say it and just know in your head that that's where you're going. If I call your corner, you get to do the higher intensity exercise. If I don't call your corner, you're gonna jog in place just like we're doing right now. It's gonna make lots of sense as we get going here. So. Your beginning exercise, okay, are skips. So skips in place, or if you have room and you wanna skip around your place, you can do that. But it's a propulsion from heel to toe. So think about where your corners are, okay? One, two, three, and four. And if I call your number after I say corners, then you get to do squat jumps. And that's how that goes. All right, so everybody, run to your corner right now. Run to your corner or decide in your head which corner you're at. And I'm gonna choose corner number three. So if I caught you at corner number three, you're gonna do squat jumps. If you did not get caught at corner number three, you're gonna jog in place. Okay, you're gonna do squat jumps until I'm done doing squat jumps. And then we'll move on. Good job. 
And one more. And good, back to a little jog in place. We're gonna move on to lunges. So if you have room to move around, walking lunges. Otherwise, the lunges in place. You can do forward lunges or backward lunges. It doesn't matter. Perfect, keep going. And corners. So move to your corner in your room or think about it in your head. And I'm calling out corner number two. If you got caught with corner number two, squat jumps again. So reach down, jump up. If not, you're jogging in place. So jog in place if I did not catch you. Good job, good job, keep going. You're doing squat jumps until I'm done if I caught you. And everybody jog in place, reset. All right, moving on. Next up is Tin Man. Again, if you have room, you can do a walking Tin Man, move around your space. If you don't have room, in place, but you're rotating, reaching across your body, twisting through your trunk. Good job, good job. And corners, run to your corner quickly. Jog in place when you get there. All right, corner number one. If I caught you in corner number one, you are doing jumping jacks. And if I did not catch you, you're jogging in place. Okay? If I caught you, you have to do jumping jacks until I am done doing jumping jacks. And everybody jog in place once again. Nice and easy. This time, walking arm circles. So just use your space, walk around forward and back. Circle those arms backwards. If you have lots of space, use it. I have very limited space. So arm circles. Enjoy that big opening for the chest and shoulders. And corners. Everybody jog in place, get to your corner. And corner number one. Again, if I caught you at corner number one, jumping jacks. Otherwise, jog in place. Good, nice strong jog. And we are back to that jog. Everybody jogging in place. Our final warm up exercise are chicken wings. Okay, so walking around, you're gonna bring your elbows in, open out, bring them in, open out again. I don't have much space, so I'm just going forward and back. But feel that opening in your chest and back. If you need to just march in place and do chicken wings, that's fine too. All right, everybody, corners. Last round of corners right here. And jog in place when you get there, corner number three. If I caught you at corner number three, we're doing skaters. If I did not catch you, you're jogging in place. Come on, skate it out right here. And we'll take one more on each side. And done, all right, so shake it out. Heart rate is up. Hopefully you're feeling nice and toasty warm. And we're gonna do one last little upper body stretch, wake up. So come to the end of your mat, hinge at your hips, swing your arms out in front, sweep them around behind the back, stand nice and tall. Let's do it again. Hinge, reach, sweep those arms around. And last one, we're gonna turn this into a plank walkout. So hinge at your hips, bend your knees a little bit, walk out into a plank. Good, from here, drop your knees. I want you to rock back into a child's pose. Drop forward into a plank position and walk your hands back to your feet. Let's do that again. Roll it on up, hinge at your hips, walk yourself out and drop your knees to the ground. Sink back into a child's pose. Push into a plank, walk your hands to your feet. Last time through right here, hinge and walk out. Hold a nice strong plank, drop to the knees, back to plank position, and walk your hands to your feet. And as you come up, big stretch at the top. And all right, shake everything out. If you need a quick drink of water, go ahead and do that. We are gonna continue on with unilateral training. 30 seconds on, 10 second recovery. We're gonna go through right, left, right, left. Okay, so two times for each side. Uh, two different exercises in this set, and then a cardio blast, and then moving on to some new stuff after that. So 
like I said, it's gonna go by quick. You need uh, one weight only for a single leg deadlift. So, single leg deadlift, you're gonna stand on your right leg, hold the weight with your left hand, and hinge off the hips, and then stand up nice and tall. So it comes across your body and stand up nice and tall. So 30 seconds on one side, and then we'll switch to the other side. Only a 10 second recovery in between. It's going to go by very, very quick. Hold on, let me find that timer. Get ready. Get set. Doesn't matter which side you start with, but it's your opposite hand that has the weight. And you got a nice flat back. All your toes are gripping the ground. Good job. Keep it coming. Remember to bend your supporting leg. Keep on going here. You've only got five seconds left on this side. It's not about how fast we go. And time is up right there. So just rest for a moment, walk out. You're gonna switch your hand and switch your leg, reset your body. Here we go, begin now. 30 seconds. Now you'll notice I'm not bringing my hand all the way to the ground. You do not have to touch the ground when you do these single leg deadlifts. But you need to keep that knee tracking with your toes. Great job, great job. Keep going. Eight seconds left. You should feel the back of your upper legs working. And time is up. Okay, rest for a minute. You're gonna do the exact same thing. One more time on each side. So switch the weight, feet hip distance apart. Ready, set, and begin. Now here's the modification. If you need to, you can keep one toe back behind as a kickstand. Do your deadlift just like this. Great job. Notice each side. Notice which side is stronger, which side needs a little bit more work. And think about the stabilization that's happening in your knee and ankle as you're balancing. Great work. And time is up right there. These, like I said, short sets of work. Let's try the other side, feet underneath the hips. All your toes are suctioned to the ground. And begin right here. This is my side that needs a little more strength. You may see me wobbling a little bit. That's real life action right there. Great job, great job, you're almost there. Try to get one more big breath in. Maybe two, and time is up. All right, new exercise coming your way. Single arm clean and press. I know you guys know this one, we've done it before. Let me quick review it. So you're gonna have your feet hip distance apart. Weight in your right hand, hinge forward at your hip. You're gonna draw the weight up to your shoulder, get underneath it in a squat, press up, catch down, and press it back over. Modification, bicep curl to a press. 30 seconds on the clock, get ready. Get set, and here we go. Let me start that timer, here it comes. <laughs> get underneath, press, squat, press down. Come on, get under, press, fetch, and press down. Nice job, you're feeling your obliques having to work, so you're not leaning to that one side. Notice that there's two squats in this move. Pull, squat, catch, squat. Come on, you got it. Three seconds left, we need to get one more rep in, and done, recover. Whew, shake out that arm. All right, same thing, other side, use your legs. You might need heavier weight if you don't feel like you need to use your legs. And here we go. Oh, sorry, let me get that timer going again. And begin, get under, press. From the side view, it looks like this. Weight is always in the heels. Come on, big exhale as you press up, help with your legs to help press that weight up. We need two more big ones. And last one right here. And recover, same thing, we're gonna switch it up. One more time on each side. So roll those shoulders around, 
Three, two, one, you're off, let's go. Get under the weight, press, catch, come on. If you feel like you've mastered this move, now I want you to go a little bit faster. If you're still working through it, slow and steady. Good job, it's all about flipping that elbow under and then flipping it over. Great stabilization for the shoulder joint right here. Come on, one more rep, everybody, one more. And done. Recover that side. Shake your arm out. Maybe move it across your body. Let's get that other side going. Ready, set, and go. Come on, you got it. Big strong pull right to the shoulder. You're doing great, you're doing great. After this, we're gonna head into some cardio. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna get into those high intensity working zones. Five seconds left. Let's get one more rep right now. And finish it off. Done. All right. So shake out, move your arms across your body, alternating which arm comes first or on top. And you're gonna move on your cardio for one minute. Two different exercises, two jumping jacks, two plank jacks. It looks like this. So two jacks, you're gonna get down on the ground, two plank jacks, and then come right back up, two jacks. Modification if you don't wanna go all the way to the ground. Two jumping jacks, squat down, tap, tap. So it's up high, and then low, low. That's your option if you don't wanna be on the ground. You got one minute, alternating back and forth. Get ready, get set, and Begin right here, two jumping jacks, two plank jacks. Come on, get down. Remember option, low, right there. Just do what you can do to work into your high level of intensity. When you are going down and up into those plank jacks, Make sure your feet are in a wide position. Just over halfway, guys. We can do this, 20 seconds to go. How many more rounds can you get through? You don't have to do this at all the rest of the night. So burn it out. 10 seconds. One last one, finish up this round and recover. Woo! Hopefully that did the job for you. Walk it out a little bit. 30 second recovery. And get a quick drink of water. Moving on, new exercises. So each round is four minutes long with that cardio blast in between, five minutes with the cherry on top. All right, with or without weight on this one, your choice. Here's what it looks like. Your right leg is moving. You're gonna be doing a forward lunge. Right leg steps forward, bring it through the middle, step back into a reverse lunge. So it's forward and back, one leg moving only. If you wanna add weight, put it in the same side as your moving leg, okay? And we'll just alternate back and forth. 30 seconds on the clock, get ready. Get set, and begin. Remember, front lunge, knee is over the heel, back lunge. Now to start off, you may want to tap in the middle just to find balance. But if it feels pretty good, pick up your foot in the middle. Hike it up. Test out your balance. Again, weight is optional. You can have your hands out to the side. Good job, good job. One more time, done. All right, all you do is switch to the other side. So switch your weight, switch your lead leg, feet underneath the hips. Check in with your knee placement, always over your heel. Here we go, lunge and lunge. Remember the first couple, you can touch down in the middle, just like that. Once you've got it, I want that knee popping up high. 
That's gonna make your standing leg work that much harder. Great job, great job. One more and done. Set it down for a quick moment, kick those heels up. Same thing, switch legs. Right away, remember short breaks? Lots of hard work here. And begin. Now one thing to keep in mind, as you're doing these lunges, when you go forward, your back heel has to pop. Pop it up every single time. Good job, it's like you're carrying a suitcase, one foot got stuck in the mud, trying to get it out. Come on, five seconds, let's go one more in each direction. And done. Whew. Switch legs, same thing. Nobody stops. All right, reset and begin. Opposite leg goes forward. Pick it up. Back heel pops as you go forward. Nice work, nice work. Think about your foot placement, your stabilizing foot. Can you suction cup those toes to the ground? Woo! Come on, last five seconds right here. Almost done. And time. Woo. All right. Set that weight down. Moving on. Heels to your butt for just a moment. And up next, Renegade Row. Two different options for this move. You're on the ground, okay? Level one, a little bit more moderate. You're in tabletop, and you're just rowing on one side only, okay? You can, if you want to, go to the front of your knees right here, okay, and row or you can come all the way to the toes and row one arm only. So you're in a plank position and rowing. Get ready, get set, here we go. So nice strong stabilization, we're fighting rotation. Okay, so legs are wide, hands are mostly wide. You're lightly setting that weight down every single time. Now be mindful that we're not rotating open like this. Our hip bones are pointed to the ground. Come on, seven seconds to go, right here. Sweat is dripping. And done. Rest for a moment, transfer the weight to the other side. Again, remember, tabletop, great option if you need it. And everybody up? Nope, not yet. Here we go, three, two, one. Begin, pull. I know it's a little tough. It's tough not to let those hips open up to the side, but you can do it. Come on. Almost there, guys. Give me 10 more seconds right here. Check in with your body. Stabilizing hand under the shoulder. Last one, done. All right, moving on. One more time each side. Whew. Yeah, towel out here. All right, here we go. Everybody up, stabilize and pull. Come on. We're gonna feel this work in your rear delt, through your upper back. We're not rotating. Slowly lowering that weight down to the ground every single time. Woo. Let's get three more reps. Come on. Three, two, one more time, and done. Woo. All right. Last time, other side. And we move into our next cardio blast. Here we go, everybody up. And begin, pull. Feel your obliques working hard to keep your hips from moving. Come on. 10 seconds to go. We're all gonna get five more reps. Come on, one more rep, pull it up. Done. All right, shake out those arms. Roll your shoulders back and around. Get another drink of water. We are moving on. So, mountain climbers and standing mountain climbers are next. 
option. If you need to stay a little up right instead of going all the way down um, into a mountain climber, you can use a chair, table, bench, okay, just like this. You're gonna drive those knees in in a mountain climber in a slightly elevated position, and then you'll do standing high mountain climbers right here, or you can do marching mountain climbers. It's four of each, either on the ground or in that elevated surface along with your standing mountain climbers. One minute, again, the goal is to get that heart rate nice and high once again, into those high intensity zones on a scale from one to 10, somewhere around eight, and maintain that for a minute. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Doesn't matter which one you start with, four on each side, then drop it down. Four, three, two, one. Come back up. Four, three, two, one. Come back down. I'm gonna show you that modified version again. If you don't want to jump, no problem. And if you don't wanna be down on the ground, you can go slow right here, okay? But keep working. You're at that halfway point. Come on, finish strong. You won't have to do these again. So burn out. Right till that timer goes off. We're almost there. Done. Woo, that was a tough one. All right. Now check this out. We're at the halfway point in our workout, which means I'm gonna throw in a little challenge for you. I told you we're gonna do some isometric dynamic work, and it's gonna look like we are coming in the form of a Tabata. It's also a little twisted Tabata because your break, your recovery, is going to be an isometric hold, okay? So, to begin with, jump squats, or squat jumps are your first exercise. 20 seconds on, 10 second recovery in a hold position right here. Okay, I want you to take this 10 second hold and then you're gonna go again. If you're not jumping, you're coming up onto your toes just like that, okay? We're gonna do two of those and then we're gonna go down to the ground and do tricep push-ups, which look like this. Knees or toes, okay, elbows tucked in. On your hold, elbows are in, you're hot just partially above the ground, you're holding the isometric hold, okay? We're gonna do two of each, two times through each one. Does that make sense? So every exercise get four times, but just two at a time. Just a little change up, right? Good to have a change. All right, Tabata, here we go. Let's start with our jump squats. Ready, set, go. Come on. The goal of the Tabata is to get your heart rate high, back into those high intensity zones. Go as fast as you feel comfortable and safe with. Remember, we're gonna take that 10 second recovery and hold in just a moment. And hold, everybody hold, hold, hold. Get lower, get lower. Come on, get ready to blast off again. Breathe deep. Ready, set, and begin, go. Come on. You can do it. Even if it's just up onto your toes, it's still working hard. Nice job, nice job. Come on, power through. Three seconds. We've got that hold coming. Hold right here, come on. Get deep now, listen up. We're gonna drop right down into a tricep push-up. You can also do this elevated if you need to. Three, two, one, get down. Tricep push-up. As you do this push-up, squeeze your shoulder blades together in the bottom of the movement. Give your knees or toes, it doesn't matter. Good job, good job. Remember when we hold, you're holding down. Stay here. Come on, it's gonna be hard. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Open your chest. Come on, engage your core. Ready, push up. 20 seconds. You can do this. Grab the ground with your thumb and forefinger. Woo! We're gonna go back to legs as soon as we take this hold, okay? So if you're dying, you're doing the right thing. And hold, everybody hold. 
Come on. Squeeze your abdominals. Tuck your tailbone under. Ah, it should burn. And get up to your feet quick. Right back into our squat jumps. Let's go. Come on. There's no breaks. We'll take a break as soon as this is over. Give those arms a little recovery. Come on, get lower in your squat. Pop up higher. Hold, 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 hold. Come on. As you're holding, press your knees open. Squeeze your butt. From the bottom up, you're gonna jump. Ready, set, go. Come on, you can do this. Good to change up these paces. Remember, even if you're not jumping, you're firing strong into the toes. You activate your calves. And everybody hold. Stay down, come on, stay down. Butt nice and low, chest high. Get ready. Drop to the ground, quick. Push up, go. Oh man, we worked those muscles already, we can tell, right? High level of intensity here. It should be hard to breathe, hard to talk if you're talking. Hold it down. Come on, don't lose hope on this one. Look forward, squeeze your shoulder blades, even if you're hanging out on top. That's okay. Ready, set, go. Come on, modification if you need it. Come in narrow, tabletop. You're still moving. Nobody quit. Are you gripping with your thumb and forefinger? Feel the difference in the work. Hold, 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 hold. 10 seconds. Don't go anywhere. Almost there. Four, three, two, done. Sit back and stretch. Oh, man. Was that hard or what? Let's take both arms up and one arm pulls gently on that elbow. And switch to the other side. Woo! All right, guys, shake it out. Come to your feet. We're gonna move into some side lunges. Okay, one side only, with or without weight. Up to you. Ooh. Looks like this. Okay, weight goes right here in the front of your body. You're gonna step into a side lunge, okay? Knees point forward and then just come right back in. If you want to make this more challenging, you can lift your knee, but that's all it is. Right, left, right, left before we move on. So, pick up your weight, 30 seconds on the clock, 10 second recovery, and here we go. Sink down into a nice low lunge, tap in. Right side only, weight right under the chin like a goblet squat. If that bothers your body, then just sit into a squat instead of a lunge. If you want more, Pop that leg up for balance. Good job. So we're just right back to this basic weight training. You will see another Tabata later. Hold and recover. Woo! Same thing, other side. Get ready to step to the left. Weight underneath the chin. Go. Lunge. So first get that knee in line with your toes. That's your most important part of this move. The next important part is that your butt goes back and your other leg is straight. Then when you're ready, drive the knee. Good job. One more rep right here. Done. And again, we're going to switch right and left one more time. Then we'll hit the upper body. Yeah, here we go. Right side. Rack it, shoulders down and back, and begin. Really okay to keep this low and steady. You don't have to be in that high intensity zone right here. That comes later. Nice job. Come on, give me two more on this side. Two more deep lunges. One more for the cherry on top. 
and done. Woo. My arms are still burning from those tricep push-ups. Man, that hold was hard. Here we go, racket, left side, begin. Always good to move through hard things. Gives us confidence when we reach the next one. It carries into other areas of our life beyond fitness. This is what I love about incorporating hard exercises, hard training zones into our workouts. Come on, one more rep. Right there, done. All right, next step, this one's easy. Okay, shoulders back, all you're gonna do is curl. One arm at a time, curl, walk around a little bit. Ready, set, and go. I want you to control the weight on the way down. Take two counts to go down to your starting position. Take this moment to catch your breath. Whew. Great job. Let's do two more on this side right here. Whoop. And last one. And recover that side. Switch the weight. Maybe roll that shoulder around a little bit. And here we go, other side. Begin. Quick up, slow it down. Oh, didn't make that timer long enough, did I? Quick up, slow it on down. So at this point, heart rate's down. You're feeling ready to rock another set of cardio. Because you're going to. Can you actively squeeze that bicep as you bring the weight up and control it on the way down? Come on. Feel the muscles doing the work. One more rep right here. And we are switching to the other side. So transfer the weight, shake out your arm. Get ready in three, two, one. You're up, here we go. You wanna change it up a little bit, maybe a little hammer curl. Or if you were already doing a hammer curl, add the palm up. Maybe you want a combination. Start at hammer, rotate at the top, and then rotate back down. I got all the moves for you. Whichever one you want. Come on, big squeeze in the bicep. You got two more reps right here. Come on, bring it up. And that's your last one right there. And done. All right, shake it all out. Woo! Last time through these biceps. Ready, set, and go. Come on up. Think about that posture. As you're moving through these curls, your chest is lifted, your back is nice and straight, holding your body upright. 10 pound weight feels like it got 10 pounds heavier on this one. Come on, you can do it. One more rep right here, finish up, done. All right, moving into our next cardio set. This is a one minute set, it's not a Tabata, not yet, okay? So three skaters, so you're gonna jump side to side. One, two, three. You're gonna hold here, do a three knee repeater before you go to the other side. One, two, three, and then three knee repeater. Modification, low impact, one, two, three, and then you just tap the ground on the repeater. Still get the benefit of the movement, less intensity. Here we go. One minute coming your way. Get ready, get set, and begin. Come on, here's three, two, one, three knee repeater. You should be switching sides every single time you do your repeater. That's how you know you're doing it right. One, two, three. You gotta stick that landing, so go slow if you need to. Keep those nice strong ankles. Remember, low impact, no jump, and tap to the back. But if you can, Bring that heart rate back up. Over halfway, right here. Come on, final countdown, 15 seconds. If you're feeling good, go faster. Jump further. Woo! You got it, let's get one more set of jumps in. Three, two, one. 
and time. Woo! Done. Recover, guys. All right, we're gonna take this one to the ground. Do me on the ground. You don't need to wait for the first exercise, but you do need one for the second one. It's a bird dog with a toe touch. Now, this is the one where you feel like you're doing a sobriety test, okay? So hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. You're gonna take one arm, opposite leg, extend, reach behind, squeeze through your glutes and hamstrings, and then reach back out, touch the ground. That's all it is, one side at a time. 30 seconds on, 10 second recovery. We are getting ready here to go in three, two, one, begin. So, same arm, opposite leg, the whole time, slow and controlled. Good job. Notice that when I'm reaching back for that heel, not rotating my body at all. So if you can't touch your heel, don't worry about it. I do want you squeezing through your glutes. And last one here. For our recovery, we are gonna take it back into a child's pose. So flip your palms up, give your wrists a little break. Same thing on the other side. Get ready to come back up. Opposite arm and reach. Sorry, my knee is a little bit twingy here. So reach it out and heel comes up. Good job. Try right, to stay balanced as much as you can here. Great work. Let's try to get two more in right here. You'll notice I'm not even touching my heel. I can't find it on this side. That's okay. Do what you can do. And time is up. Sit back, stretch it out. We got one more on each side. Good. Come right back up. Here we go. Flatten out the back. Draw the abdominals. Extend. Reach behind. Nice job. Again, you want to tighten those glutes. Great mobility for the shoulder joint of the moving arm. Great stability for the supporting arm. Nice work. Good. Think about lengthening, not going higher, but reaching longer. And one more time here. Great job. And time is up. Then you're going to sit back again and stretch. All right, last time on the other side. All right, back up we go. You want to reach the arm and leg long. We'll try to find that heel, where is it? <laughs> and bring it down. It's more about the squeezing of your hamstring and the mobility in the shoulder than actually making the contact. So don't worry about that. Nice job. Come on, let's get two more in. Longer and stronger, that's what we're going for right here. And time is up. All right, so new move. We did bottoms up work last week with our weights in the standing position. I don't know if you remember, and then we did the holding on the bottom of the weight, pressing up and down. I don't know about you, my triceps and lats were on fire the next day. They worked so hard stabilizing. We're gonna try this from the lying down position, and it's gonna be more of a chest press. So I want you to try it bottoms up. If you don't feel like that's a great move for your body, or if you don't have the right weight, then you can hold on to the middle. But really, really try, please, bottoms up. Looks like this, holding on to the bottom of your weight, okay? Other arm is to the ground. Start with it up, and then slowly lower it down, and then back up. Slowly come down, and back up, okay? So you're working on grip strength, you're working on forearm and wrist stability, you're slowly lowering the weight to the ground. Now I'm gonna give you some options to make it more intense as we go. Ready, set and begin. So feet on the ground for the first one, opposite arm on the ground. So if that feels pretty good, then I want you to lift your knees. Okay, so they're at 90 degrees. And maybe just take them a slight distance away from the hips to engage your core. Ooh, that's hard. Great job. It's slow and steady. And let's get one more rep in right here. And holding at the top. Bring your weight down, switch sides. So first things first, get your weight, okay? Hold it, hold the bottom. Bring your weight up. Start with your feet on the ground. Brace your core. And here we go again. Three, two, one. Lower it down. 
fire it back up. So if you try to go too quick on the down phase of this movement, you're gonna drop the weight. So take it slow. Once you've got that down, add the legs, lift them up. So where are you feeling this? And you should be feeling it in your triceps, back, maybe a little bit through the shoulder, but it's really more about the lats and triceps here. Good job, good job, and done. We're gonna switch again. We need to do one more challenge for this move. If you want more abdominal training, okay, start with your legs up. Ready, set, and go. Slow down, fire it up quick. Come on, you can do it. Okay, option for more intensity. Take it out into a hollow hold. The legs are extended, maybe even just one leg is extended. That's fine. Come on, you're gonna feel the opposite side of your body wanna lift off the ground. Don't let it happen. Good job, good job, good job. Let's do one more right here. And time is up. Felt the difference on that one, didn't you? Woo! All right, palm it, get it up there. Start in a moderate intensity level and begin. And if you are ready, right away, get those legs up, squeeze your inner thighs together. Come on. Maybe lower those legs a little more. Maybe you want to do bent knees and you want to lower your bent knees. That's fine. Just make it more challenging, whatever you can do. Come on, five seconds. You've got it. Get one more right here. And done. Oh, roll yourself up. Back into your one minute round of cardio this time. You've got four volleyball jumps, four heel lifts, back to back to back for one minute. So it looks like this, okay? Using your arms, you're gonna jump straight up. Four, three, two, one. Then you're gonna combine it with four heel lifts, okay? If you don't wanna do the full jump, here's what I want you to do. I want you to squat, come up onto your toes. This is your jump and then you're just gonna do regular heel lifts for the heel lifts, okay? So if you don't wanna jump, no problem, but get a little slot in there for that propulsion without the jump. One minute, back into our high intensity zone. Get ready, get set, here we go. Come on, jump, four, use your arms. Three, two, one, and then four heel lifts. Calm it down, and then go again. Come on, reach, reach. Your hands come to your shoulders every single time. And then heel this. Four, three, two. Here's what it looks like if you're not jumping. Squat and lift. And then heel lifts. Four. Woo! Burn out those calves. Come on. Posterior chain working hard. How high can you get on your jumps? Come on, show me. Reach. Higher. Full extension. 15 seconds to go. Can you get your heart rate higher? Come on, move quicker. Woo! Come on, let's do one more round right here. And time is up. Oh, done. All right, guys, here we go. Take those heels out. Now, here's your next challenge. It's not as much of a cardio Tabata as it is a core Tabata, okay? We're gonna still stay with that same isometric dynamic challenge. So you're gonna be face down on your mat for a swimmer, and then we're gonna hold in that isometric position two times through, two sets of bicycle crunches with the hold, and then back and forth again. So four minutes left in this workout, and then we're stretching, all right? So down to the ground, prone position, means flat on your tummy, arms reaching out, and we're moving on, here we go. Let me find that Tabata timer, here it is. All right, so arms and legs outstretched, and you are swimming. If that doesn't work, then just do legs only with an elevated upper body like this. So if this is too much on the shoulders, no problem. Good job, swim, swim, swim. Tuck your chin, okay? And get ready, you're gonna hold. Ready, set, hold. Everybody hold. You can hold here as well, just isometric squeeze. Pull your abs in tight, squeeze your butt, ready. Swim again, and go, swim, swim, swim. You can do it. Again, modification right here, just legs only. Good 
Sometimes the core challenge at the end feels even harder than that cardio, doesn't it? Three, two, one, and hold. Okay, hold right here. Can you squeeze your butt tighter? Tuck your chin. We're gonna quickly flip over in three, two, one, and bicycle crunches right here. Come on. Elbows wide, bicycle crunches. These don't have to be fast, but you're reaching the shoulder across your midline. When I say hold, you're gonna hold to one side only for 10 seconds. It's a long hold. Here we go, hold. Stay here, now try to get your elbow off the ground and push your opposite elbow to your knee. Tuck your chin in, it's almost like a dead bug. And if you can't reach, no problem. Go again. Come on. That second time through is where we really feel the work after all the isometric, huh? Come on, you can do this. Go, go, go. We're gonna hold on the other side this next time, okay? Get ready, get set, hold. Come on, lift your elbow off the ground and take your elbow to your knee. You're gonna flip over for swimmers next. Ready, flip. Swim. Come on, swim, swim, swim. Tuck your chin. Make sure your butt is squeezing. Your legs are tight and tense. They're not just flopping around. Three, two, one, and hold. If you need to, you can tuck your toes to the ground for a little bit of a modification. Ready to go again in three. Reach your arms and go. Swim, swim, swim. Just keep in mind, you've only got about 40 se seconds of work left in this workout tonight. No need to quit. Three, two, hold. Come on, hold, hold, hold. Sorry, right, it's a little premature, you get an extra long hold. Almost there, guys. We're gonna flip over, ready, set, flip. Bicycle crunches. Come on, reach. Not just the elbows moving, it's your whole trunk twisting. Get ready for that hold, it's right here, hold. Push your elbow to your knee if you can. Tuck your chin. Breathe. Ready, set, go. Come on, 20 seconds. Then a 10 second hold and then we're done. Come on, stick with me. I know it's getting tough. Support your head with your fingertips. Three seconds longer. And hold. Stay right there, continue on. In three, two, one, and done. Oh, lay flat on your back. You did amazing. Stretch out your arms and legs. Great job. Take one leg, stretch it up. Whew. I want you to take your opposite arm on the outside of that leg and just gently lift up. And I want you to extend through your heel. So what you're doing here is causing a little tension behind the shoulder. Okay, a little tug. You're gonna feel that behind the shoulder, down the back. Just hold, if you need a hold right behind your leg, that's okay, on your upper leg. Now cross this leg over into a figure four, flexing your foot on the top. We're gonna hug our inner thighs together and then fold your legs over, just let them stay down. Now take your palms up and your shoulders to the ground. You're turning away from those knees, trying to keep both shoulders relaxed to the ground. Feels so nice on the hips and back. All right, bring it right back to the top. Stretch your other leg up, a little hammy stretch. And then reach your opposite hand to the outside of that leg. And then just gently tug up and kind of let your leg fall away so you're creating tension. Your leg is moving down, your arm is pulling it in. And then cross your leg over 
and reach through the middle. Pull your legs in close. So if you like that kind of Tabata, that um, isometric dynamic movement, okay, you're gonna see some of that in your core workout, your active recovery workout. Cross your legs all the way, knit nice and tight, and tip your knees and turn your head, palms flip up. It's just only a core, to, it's only a core challenge with the isometric dynamic. So if you like that, again, when I send you your video this week, make sure and check it out. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take our hands behind our legs, roll ourselves up to a seated position, lift tall through your chest, small arch through the back, and I want you to tuck your chin in, scoop your belly button to your spine, again, tugging on those legs, creating a stretch in the back of the upper body, and then this time, lift both arms up, palms are open, and then sweep your arms to the side, and again, tuck your chin, rock off your sitting bones, And release, good. Let's take our legs out to the side, just as wide as you're comfortable. Everybody has a different level of flexibility here. But I want you to drop one elbow down towards your thigh and take your arm up and over. Maybe you can go lower, that's great. And sweep your arms out in front, reach nice and far. And then other side, elbow to the knee, reach up and over, and even bring that elbow down to the ground if you want to. Great job. And come back to the center. Just take your head to one side. Lower your chin. Take your head to the other side. Lower your chin, and then roll your head up, back and around. And we are done with the workout, feeling great. You guys did amazing tonight. Whew. How's everybody doing? We live? <laughs> Good job. I know lots of different things we worked through tonight. But I cannot, <laughs> I cannot imagine doing that out there in the heat. You know what? I'm like totally in the shade right here in front of my house. So it's a way different temperature than it is if I were in the sunshine. <laughs> so, and maybe you saw all the sweat just like gushing off my face. <laughs> you know, good therapy. It's a detox, right? That's what we're going for. Awesome, you guys. Well, cool. Any fun plans for the rest of the week? Or are you guys just back in the work mode? And work mode. Work mode. We gotta jump off. Bye, everyone. Okay, bye. See you later.